Unit Ten, Page Eighty Five. Read, Exercise Two. Read and listen to the text. Gap years. This year, about one hundred and fifty thousand young people in the UK will take a gap year. A gap year is a break between school and university, or between school and starting work in a profession. For most young people, it will be a chance to travel and to have interesting experiences. So, how do young people spend their time? A lot of students finance their gap years by working in the countries they visit, and some do voluntary work. Here are three young people who are going to do very different things. Jackie. Next year, I'm going to study physics at university. Before then, I want to spend some time abroad and do something completely different. I've got a student work visa for Thailand, and I'm going to work at an animal rescue centre for nine months. It will be a demanding job. My responsibilities will be to help to look after the animals, and I'll also show visitors around the centre. It will be a great experience. Oliver, next summer I'm going to start a job at a sports centre. It'll be my first full-time job. But before that, I want to take a break and live abroad. And I found the ideal job for me with Gap Sports. I'm going to live in Ghana, in Africa, for six months and work as a school basketball coach. It will be a really rewarding experience, as the company's website says. I won't just teach sport; I'll probably help with other lessons in school too. Darren, I'm going to start work next October. It's an office job, a post in a bank. Before that, I want to spend a few months working with my hands outdoors. So I've volunteered to work with a charity called. Concordia. I'm going to help to restore an old castle in the west of France. There will be sixteen other young people from other countries, so it will be a great way to make friends and learn about other cultures. And it'll be a great opportunity to practice my French too. Unit Ten, Page Eighty-Eight, Vocabulary. Exercise two. Listen, repeat, and check. One. Chef. Two. Bus driver. Train driver. Three. Factory worker. Four. Shop assistant. Five. Farmer. Six. Nurse. Doctor. Unit ten, page eighty-eight. Listen. Exercises two and three. Listen to four people talking about their jobs. Speaker one. Where do you work? I work in the countryside. I've got two thousand hectares in the north of England. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. Why do you like it? I like working outside. The scenery is beautiful, and I like working with animals. We've got horses and cows. Is there anything you don't like about it? The weather isn't very good in the winter. But I still have to work outside in snow, rain, everything. That's difficult sometimes. Speaker two. Where do you work? At the Royal Infirmary in the town centre. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. I don't earn a lot of money, but I like helping my patients. What else do you like? I work as part of a team. I enjoy that. For example, we work with the doctors at the hospital. Is there anything you don't like about it? 
I have to work with the general public. That's sometimes difficult. People are sometimes angry or upset when they come to hospital. Speaker three. Where do you work? At the Bombay House Restaurant. Do you enjoy your job? Hmm, it's okay. I like some of it. What do you like? I enjoy working with my hands, and I like making new dishes. For example, my special chicken curry with rice is a really popular dish. And what don't you like about your job? I'm on my feet all day, so I'm always very tired, and it's always so hot in the kitchen. Speaker four. Where do you work? At Wright's department store. Do you enjoy your job? Hmm. Well, no, not really. Why don't you like it? Well, a few years ago we didn't use computers, but now I have to use them. I don't like using a computer. I hate computers. And another problem is I don't earn very much money. I'd like to earn more. Anything else? I'm on my feet all day, so I get very tired, and I have to work with customers. They can be really difficult people. Unit ten, page ninety-one. Language skills, exercise one. Listen and check. Good morning, Simon. Thank you for coming to the interview.、Um, good morning. Now, where did you see the advertisement? I saw it on the sports centre's website. How old are you? Seventeen, but I'll be eighteen next month. And what experience do you have of teaching swimming? Well, last year I taught swimming classes to children at a swimming club two evenings a week. I see. And how old were the children? They were between seven and fourteen. Perfect. Now, Simon, are you a good coach? I think so. All of the children in my group learn to swim at the swimming club, and I'm hardworking and reliable. Good. Can I ask for a reference from the swimming club? Of course. In fact, I've got a letter here from the club manager. Ah. Thank you. We're very interested in your application. I'll phone you on Friday, and tell you our decision. I look forward to hearing from you then. Everyday English, ten. Teacher's book, page one hundred and twenty. Giving advice, exercise two. Listen and complete the dialogue. Hi Tom. Hi Rowan. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. I've got a job interview this afternoon. Really? You should wear a jacket and tie. Do you think so? Definitely. You shouldn't wear jeans and a t-shirt for an interview. You're probably right. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Everyday English, ten. Teacher's book, page one hundred and twenty. Giving advice, exercises five and seven. Listen to two dialogues. One. Hi, Mary. Hi, Keith. How are you? Terrible. I feel really ill this morning. Yes, you look bad. Thanks. <laughs> Why are you at the bus stop? I'm going to school, of course. You shouldn't go to school. Really? Of course not. You should go home and call the doctor.、Mm, maybe you're right. I do feel really bad. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks. Two. Hi, Tom. Hi, Sonia. What are you doing? I'm looking for a website. What kind of website? 
I want to find a biology essay. I don't understand my homework, and I have to finish it tonight. So, are you going to copy it from the internet? Yep. You shouldn't do that. You'll get into trouble. So, what should I do? You should talk to your teacher.、Oh, do you think so? Definitely. Explain that you're having problems with the homework. Skills Roundup, page ninety-three. Listen. Exercises one and two. Listen to teenagers talking about part-time jobs. Jack. I think it's a good idea for teenagers to do part-time work. Part-time jobs give you good experience of working. It's important to find out what kind of job you want to do when you leave school. The other advantage of a part-time job is that you can earn some money. When you're sixteen, it's better to have your own money, not to ask your parents for money. Anyway, my parents haven't got much money, so I'm happy to earn my own money. Ryan, a lot of my friends have got part-time jobs. Part-time jobs are a good way of meeting people. You can make some really good friends. The problem is, you spend all your time working, working at school or working in your job, and you're always tired. Sometimes, part-time jobs make teenagers too tired to study, but they're still a good way to earn some money and meet people, so they aren't a bad thing really. Lauren, I don't have time to do a part-time job. And I don't really need one either. My mum and dad give me money. The most important thing for teenagers is to get a good education. Then they can get good jobs in the future. Teenagers can only get part-time jobs that are badly paid, three pounds an hour or perhaps three pounds fifty. You can't earn much money like that. Parents have to give teenagers more money, so that they don't have to do these jobs. That's my opinion.